incident? I have good reason to believe that in the intervening years he was in a state that precluded further development of covert skills. The man you have consistently failed to slow or capture is by all standards simply that an ordinary man. How can you have failed to apprehend him? Well, I will leave the upbraiding for another time to the extent it proves necessary. Now is the moment to redeem yourselves. 
If the transhuman forces are to prove themselves an indispensable augmentation to the Combine Overwatch, they will have to earn the privilege. I'm sure I don't have to remind you of the alternative, if you can call it, to this total extinction.
Jim's journey along the coast was originally to conclude at a large combine-built industrial factory called the Air Exchange. However, as development progressed, other environments seemed to create more interesting gameplay, and it was then replaced with Nova Prospect. Instead of the Air Exchange's industrial setting, Nova Prospect was a former prison where the Combine now treats humans like machine parts. Similar to how City 17 was designed, a standard human-built prison was first created, and the Combine tech was then imposed upon it. This map design process simulates a history of change and adaptation of the Nova Prospect environment, creating a believable final product. Photoshop was used extensively by the development team. They would use the image editing tool to layer in concept art of Combine technology over in-game screenshots, allowing them to try out different concepts without having to create and texture models and render them in-game. Different players reacted in different ways once they were given control over the antlions. Some would treat them as pets, happily guiding them through Nova Prospect. Others enjoyed shoving them into combat and watching them get wasted by the Combine. The fact that some players made a connection with their antlions, despite the antlions' lack of a true face or dialogue, is quite remarkable, and can likely be credited to their animation and the gentle cooing sounds they make. When creating an area, level designer Aaron Barber found it important to first become very familiar with the type of environment that he was attempting to create. This can be done by watching movies or documentaries, as well as studying architecture books and reference photos. He would start the design process by conceptualizing the level as a whole, creating an overall layout before focusing on the details of each individual area. Then he would work on the composition of each area, not worrying about textures or lighting. Finally, he would iteratively add in details, breaking the level down into a series of smaller issues until it was complete. This top-down approach ensured the level as a whole was cohesive, and it allows for large changes to be made before individual areas are polished. When designing the Combine technology, the animators and artists at Valve worked together closely to create bridges, gates, and walls that had an interesting look, with highly detailed animations to match. One of the prime surviving examples is the Combine Wall, which advances through the city, destroying anything in its path.